Keeping it simple in the kitchen doesn't mean you can't have amazing food that not only looks incredible, but tastes fantastic too. My first recipe is so easy, it removes the stress from cooking and is a pleasure to make. Chili beef lettuce wraps. Cooking should never be a chore. The more you cook, the more confident you become. That way, you actually start to enjoy it. And that's the key to good cooking. Have a bit of fun along the way. This is minced beef and minced pork. The pork needs to sit in there, otherwise the beef's going to dry out. It's really important to season the mince before you cook it. Pan, nice and hot. Touch of olive oil. Mince in. Breaking up like that really helps to sort of separate it so you can fry it off with a lot of colour. With your spoon, just go through. And start breaking that up. The most important thing to remember is mince is made up of cheap cuts, brisket, belly, and short rib. So it needs help. And frying off the mince for colour is so important. If this pan wasn't hot, your mince is going to boil. There's a horrible grey colour on there. And there's no flavour on your mince. Taste a little bit. Mmm. Tastes delicious. It's seasoned beautifully. See how crispy it's going. Take it much further than you've ever taken mince before. Nice and crispy. Smells incredible. And draining it is crucial. It keeps the mince nice and crispy. And you get rid of that excess fat. That's lovely. Now, let's wipe out the pan. Don't wash it. Low gas. Now we're going to add texture to the mince. Finely chopped chilli, ginger, garlic and spring onions. Spring onions give the sort of mince a really nice freshness because it just gives that crunch nice and thinly. Now, we we'll fry off the chilies, the ginger and the garlic first. Sesame seed oil. Teaspoon only in. Garlic, chilli, ginger in. Fry that off nicely. The sesame seed oil just lifts up the whole flavour. Touch of brown sugar. That starts to really caramelise the chilli, the garlic and the ginger. Mince in. Now, my fish sauce. That gives it the saltiness. You can see now why it was so important to get that mince really crispy because nothing's going soggy. It's staying really crispy. Fresh lime. That makes the mince fragrant. And then lime juice. Roll it. And squeeze that in there. Incredible. I've got the salty. I've got the heat. I've got the sweetness. Now I've got the acidicness as well. And then finally, my spring onions in. Right at the last minute, so I've got crunch in there as well. Smells amazing. Literally cook the mince now with sort of 30 seconds to go. Gas off and take it out. Looks incredible. Smells so inviting. To go with the chilli beef, I'm making a simple, sweet and spicy dipping sauce so everyone can dress the crispy mince to their own taste. Dipping sauce. A little teaspoon of the brown sugar soy sauce. Gives it a nice sort of dark, rich colour. Sesame seed oil. A tablespoon. And just top that up with a tablespoon of olive oil. That stops the sesame seed oil becoming too rich. A teaspoon of fish sauce. And then a touch of chilli. We leave the seeds in again. I want the heat in that sauce. So impressive. An amazing show off. Centerpiece. Lime juice in. And the coriander. Chop it through once. Give that a little mix up. Just check the seasoning. Mm, that's lovely. Nice and rich. Now the lettuce. I'm going to use baby gem because it's really nice and durable and sort of quite strong. So you just sort of sit these nice trimmed lettuce leaves around. Now the exciting part. Serve. Take your lettuce up, spoon in your mince. And then a little touch of dressing. Just a little drizzle. Nice. And that's the secret of having good, easy, relaxed food is that you just help yourself. Food that looks and tastes a million bucks doesn't have to be complex. 
This dish is as fun to cook as it is to eat. First, get prepped. Chop garlic, ginger and chilli, keeping the seeds for extra kick. Slice spring onions, chop spring greens and trim a head of broccoli. Then whisk two eggs. Prep done, stir fry on. Add a good glug of oil to a hot pan. Garlic, ginger, chilli. Next, the spring greens and broccoli. Add water to steam. Then cook rice. This dish is perfect for using leftover rice. Make a well. Add the eggs, spring onions, and a dash of fish sauce. Scramble, then mix. Season. Top with lime and spring onions. My fragrant fried rice. Made simple with advanced prep and ready in five minutes. This fantastic fast and simple pasta dish made with everyday ingredients just goes to prove you can eat good food whenever you want. Really important to put the water on first so you can just have it gently simmering away, ready for the pasta. While the water comes to the boil, start the sauce by slicing mushrooms. First off, fingers. One in front, two behind. Up and down. Then add olive oil to a hot frying pan. I want that nice colour on the mushrooms. Off the heat, lift it 10 seconds. And when you toss something, really important, you get all the ingredients at the end of the pan, push down and pull back. And that noise, that that's all the water coming out of the mushrooms. Next, finely chop a fat clove of garlic. Then prepare your leeks. Just take your knife and go down through the centre, turn it over, and again, into quarters. So you've got all that opening up. And then just rinse the top of that to get rid of any potential dirt or sand. It just breaks up into nice little quarters. Add all that leek into those mushrooms. Beautiful. And now, the secret is to get rid of that water inside the leek. As it cooks down, all the water's gone, you just left that really nice, intense flavour. Garlic's gone nice and crispy. Now, we're going to add a touch of chicken stock in there. Mmm, beautiful. Lasagna sheets. Just going to drop the sheets into the water. Lasagna sheets are an unusual choice for a dish like this, but they work brilliantly although any type of pasta you've got in the cupboard will do. And just twist that pan. That stops any pasta actually sticking to the bottom of the pan. Chicken stock reduced down by half, and it's almost delays the bottom of the pan, basically washed all that wonderful flavour off. Turn the gas down and add a couple of tablespoons of cream. This just enriches the dish, bring it back up to the board and let it simmer for three to four minutes. Now, the secret of the pasta it's just taking it out a little early. So you've got that nice texture. Hold up the sheet and just nip it. And you can feel your fingers in the centre. It's ready. Turn the sauce down and lay these beautiful sheets of lasagna into that sauce. I'm just going to turn the gas off now and let the pasta sit in there and absorb that amazing sauce. Finish with chopped fresh tarragon. It's a delicious herb that goes brilliantly well with mushrooms and leeks. Just let that sit and almost sort of infuse. To serve, I'm making a quick bruschetta by toasting fresh ciabatta bread. Two nice slices, drizzle that in olive oil. A little bit of garlic. Just rub the bread. The crust as well. The crust is what really takes that garlic. Now, pan for the bread, a little touch of olive oil. As it starts to smoke, bread in. But look at the pasta now. It's been stained by that amazing sauce. To serve, I want a nice spoon of my mushrooms, leeks, and cream. Then I'll take my pasta, just twist it, 
and let it sit on top. That tarragon has just lifted everything. Bread on. And that's the beauty about something so simple that can be done in 20 minutes with everyday ingredients. A stunning pasta dish. Adding easy and versatile dishes like this to your repertoire is what cooking at home is all about. So you can always make great tasting food at the drop of a hat. It's brilliant to have a number of great recipes up your sleeve to rely on. And let's be honest, we've all got a tin of sweet corn somewhere. So I'm going to show you how to make the most amazing fritter. First off, the mixture. Take your flour, sieve. Really important to sieve the flour. That stops the mixture from having any lumps in there. And just before you get to the end, I want to put half a teaspoon of baking powder. The baking powder gives the mixture some lift in and just sieve that through. Touch of salt and pepper. Next, an egg. And about four tablespoons of milk. And give that a little whisk. Now, just put a little drizzle of olive oil in there. That helps to relax the mixture. Whisk that in. Make sure you got rid of all those lumps. So look, I want a nice, smooth, almost like a cake mixture. OK. Next, take the seeds out of a chilli to lower the heat. Roll the chilli, so give it a really good shake. Tap them out. Slice in half into quarter, and each quarter in half, and chop through. It's a really nice, quick way of slicing a chilli into the mixture. Spring onion. Take off that outside layer of the spring onion, top and tail. Slice it at an angle, so I've got a bit of texture running through the mixture. I want that nice crunch in. Coriander. Just slice through, nice and gently and get that in there. Next, the sweet corn. Now, drain it from the tin and just pat it dry so it doesn't make the mixture too wet. Give that a nice mix. You can see now I've got two-thirds ingredients and one-third of the mixture to bind together. That's the secret of a good fritter, so you're, you're biting into excitement, not sort of dough. Pan on. Olive oil in. Nice and hot. Get a nice big dessert spoon. You know, there's one nice portion. In. Space the fritters evenly around the pan in a clockwise direction, so you always know which one to turn first. Just with the back of your spoon, sort of spread them out a little bit. OK. Palette knife. Just check. You're happy with the colour? And turn over. Beautiful. Now for the chilli yoghurt dressing. Deseed and finely chop a red chilli and add to a pot of natural yoghurt. And then some fresh lime. Finish with chopped coriander. Coriander in and give that a nice mix up. That chilli just lifts it. The lime gives it that nice tanginess. The fritters, they smell amazing. And with the sauce, it tastes fantastic. That is such a delicious recipe using a tin of sweet corn from your cupboard. Amazing.